It was one of the most feared and lethal killers of World War II. To the men who had flown it, the Mosquito was second to none. Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. And today we got one here from Corgi, of course, in one seventy-second scale from the Aviation Archive. It is a De Havilland Mosquito FBVI or FB6 from number 211 squadron from the RAF in Bangkok and Thailand in 1945. 211 squadron was actually formed in 1917 as a fighter and reconnaissance unit until the end of World War I when it was disbanded. It was reactivated once again in 1937 as a war loomed. It operated as a medium bomber unit in the Middle East and Pacific theatres during World War II until its disbandment in uh, 1946. 211 Squadron did receive their Mosquito FB-6s in mid-1945 after moving to India in preparation for the Japanese invasion of Malaya, but the Japanese would surrender in August, of course, so that invasion never came. 211 then moved to Bangkok, where this one is from, in September of 1945 until the unit's disbandment in March of 1946. I will open this Corgi box up. It is the usual one. I, this was a second-hand purchase. I paid $95 for this. The actual packet in there is a little bit yellowed off, as you can see. Uh, I don't know how that gets yellowed when it's inside the actual box. So <laughs> it does look like sort of sun damage type of uh, deal. But as we say, hey, it is no good in the box. Let's get this mosquito out and have a real good look at it. With the blister packet out of the box, it does come with its normal Corgi um, certificate, as these Corgi ones usually come with. We'll get that lid off. There's that yellow lid. We'll say goodbye to that. And as you can see in the packet here, there is the normal sort of uh, corgi stand. There is the little baggie that does have the option for gear down and, uh, you know, what we'll be doing. And what the mosquito sitting in there, we'll get this mosquito out and have a, have a bit of a look at it. Oh, it does come out nice and easy, which is great. We'll just move that out of the way. It is painted in this sort of overall aluminium finish, which, which is quite weird considering the aircraft is wooden. So it's quite silver. So it is very reflective for the lights that we've got in here. So hopefully that doesn't uh, come through annoying in the uh, camera at all. But we will uh, dive straight in and have a look at these uh, details on there. It's got some reasonable panel lines there. It's, uh, look, the, the camouflage itself, it's, you know, nothing too exciting. It's just purely a silver aircraft, but it is, you know, something... Uh, Still, it is a nice rendition by Corgi. It does look quite quite decent. The propellers, of course, do spin nicely. There is, of course, pilots in there. So there are little figures in there. Um, Corgi seem to always have that with their models. So that's always a uh, plus. You don't have to worry about having a, an aircraft without any figures in it. And we'll run down this fuselage here. It is, you know, reasonably nice. Those gun details look pretty good. Actual engine details aren't too bad. I think overall it's, you know, it's a fairly nice rendition. My personal preference, I, I probably do prefer these in the uh, camouflage scheme that they usually come through when uh, in the European theatre. They usually uh, have a nice camouflage scheme on them. So we'll turn this mosquito over and have a little look underneath and uh, have a closer look at those details through there. So obviously we'll be putting some landing gear in those engine nail cells there. It does look very tidy. So obviously that's the stand hole for putting this, the aircraft on the stand. It does have a little tail wheel for in-flight. Obviously this is set up for in-flight, of course. And um, we'll uh, we'll do the usual, of course. So what we'll do is we'll we'll kit this uh, aircraft out with the gear down and come back and have a have a proper look at it. Here is this mosquito all uh, kitted out. Well, landing gear. <laughs> That's all you have to put on it. There is no ordnance or anything like that to to whack on. The tail wheel just drops straight in there. You just whoop, straight in. Doesn't move or anything like that. The main landing gear does move. It, it, it is a separate piece to the gear bay doors, but you put the gear bay doors in first, then put the uh, landing gear through those gear bay doors, and the landing gear keeps it in place, and they go in straight forward, and as I said, they do roll nicely. It's always been a bit strange, because the uh, Mosquito has been uh, predominantly a wooden aircraft, uh, and it's painted in this aluminium finish. This is very bright silver paint-wise, as you can see on this die-cast model. 
and it does come together quite nice. But and of course, these are quite straightforward. Like with the stand, you just you know whack them in that hole, and that that is it. Job done, of course, and you're ready to display this mozzie on your shelf. And we'll zoom in a fraction for you to check it out. And uh, this is the beast. And I reckon it's look, it's not too bad, of course. And sausage finger test, it is you know reasonable, you know reasonable size. It is a twin engine fighter after all, and I reckon it's not too bad. So uh, you know, if you do like this, you know, throw us a bit of a like if you can spare the time. If you enjoyed the video, and if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, feel free to do that as well. I will take some photos of this mosquito and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video, as per usual. And you can check them out without these sausage fingers being in the way. So once again, this is uh, by Corgi. It's 172nd scale die cast. It is the De Havilland Mosquito FBVI or VB6 from RAF 211 Squadron in Bangkok, Thailand, uh, late 1945. And look, it's not too bad. I reckon it's not too bad. And as I said, this was a secondhand purchase for me. And I, I grabbed this for $95 off, a seller, off eBay that was reducing his uh, collection. All right. Thank you very much for spending your valuable time as per usual for watching one of my videos. I hope you did enjoy it. All right, guys, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys. Cheers.